Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another recruiting news for dummies video. And today we're going to be talking about how the Auburn Tigers have been on an absolute tear on the recruiting trail right now and how they might add some more five star talent in the next couple of days. Let's get into it. Now, the Auburn Tigers haven't had a five star commit since the 2019 recruiting cycle, but in the last week alone, they have flipped two five star recruits from opposing SEC rival schools to commit to them. Now, the first recruit to flip his commitment to Auburn is Demarcus Riddick. He's a five star linebacker he's from Clanton Alabama he attends Chilton County High School he's 6'2 212 pounds he's the number 26 recruit nationally the number three linebacker and the number three recruit coming out of the state of Alabama and before he was committed to the Auburn Tigers he was committed to Georgia now this wasn't the biggest loss for the Georgia Bulldogs because right after DeMarcus decommitted they added another five-star linebacker right after him so once one left another one came in so not the biggest loss for Georgia but Auburn being able to take away a five-star talent away from Georgia the best school in the SEC at the moment is a really 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 good sign that Auburn is doing big things on the recruiting trail now the second recruit to flip his commitment to Auburn is none other than five-star wide receiver Perry Thompson Perry is 6'3", 202 pounds. He's from Foley, Alabama. He attends Foley High School. He's the number 32 recruit nationally, the number eight wide receiver, and the number four recruit coming out of the state of Alabama. Before Perry committed to Auburn, he was committed to Alabama. And why this flip is so huge, because obviously Alabama and Auburn are huge in-state rivals. And for Auburn to be able to take away a five-star recruit away from Alabama, and not just a five-star recruit, a five-star wide receiver, which Alabama has been able to produce wide receivers at a high rate, over the years is really 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 big for Auburn so Auburn being able to take away this recruit from Alabama and take the other recruit away from Georgia is definitely saying something about what they're doing in these recruiting battles obviously these two pickups for Auburn are absolutely huge but could they have something bigger in the works that is going to happen over the next couple of days now what I am talking about is how Auburn has been making huge strides on the recruiting trail for five-star safety KJ Bolden now KJ Bolden is 6'1 185 pounds he's from Buford Georgia he attends Buford High School he's the number seven recruit nationally the number one safety and the number two recruit coming out of the state of Georgia and currently he holds multiple crystal ball predictions to Georgia now KJ Bolden's recruitment has kind of been an up and down one for who who is second in line behind Georgia it's kind of been unanimous that Georgia has always been the leader for a while now but for a short amount of time it seemed like Ohio State was making huge strides and that they were contesting Georgia for who had the top spot and now Ohio State has kind of drifted away and for a while it was Florida State and Florida State was making huge strides behind Georgia even though Georgia was still staying at that top spot and now it seems like Auburn is making really big strides for KJ Bolden now recently during the lifted dead period at the end of July KJ Bolden took a visit to Auburn and during this visit he witnessed five-star wide receiver Perry Thompson commit to Auburn and flipping his commitment from Alabama now after the visit KJ Bolton had some interesting things to say about Auburn he praised how much he loved the school how much he loved the program how much he loved the coaches and he also said that Auburn is definitely in his top two now now who knows if Auburn is actually in KJ Bolton's top two or if he's just saying that because he got off a visit and he's saying the right things or saying things to mislead people but either way I still think Georgia is in in the lead here and I do expect KJ Bolin to commit to the Bulldogs but who knows crazier things have happened in recruiting and this is recruiting crazy things happen all the time so will KJ Bolin go to Auburn who knows yo thank you guys so much for watching another recruiting news for dummies video let me know if you think KJ Bolin is going to go to Auburn down below and let me know your thoughts on how Auburn has been killing the recruiting game recently don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerts on every time I post a new video and I'm out peace